In today's video, we will discuss all the formulas of the chapter thermodynamics of class 11 physics. According to first law of thermodynamics, u is equal to q plus w. Same convention for this entire chapter is when the internal energy increases, u will be positive. When internal energy decreases, u will be negative. Similarly, when heat is absorbed by the system, q is positive. When heat is released by the system, Q will be negative. And work done by the system is positive, while work done on the system is negative. Coming to the next point, we will see specific heat capacity, molar heat capacity and heat capacity. Heat capacity is nothing but dQ by dT or del Q by del T. And the unit for this will be Joule per Kelvin. Now specific heat capacity it is the amount of heat which is required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of a pure substance by 1 degree Kelvin. So its unit will be Joule per kg per Kelvin. Now molar specific heat capacity, it is the amount of heat required to raise temperature of 1 mole of a substance by 1 degree Kelvin. So your mu indicates moles and the unit will be Joule per mole per Kelvin. Coming to the next point, Cp minus Cv is equal to R. This important relation here Cp will be F by 2 plus 1 into R, Cv is F by 2 into R and gamma is Cp by Cv. Here F is degrees of freedom. And this can also be written as 2 by F plus 1. Intensive properties, these are properties which are independent on the size or mass or extent to which the process occurs. So, I for independent, you can remember like I for independent and extensive properties, these are dependent on the size or extent of the reaction or mass of the system. So, pressure, density and temperature, these are intensive properties while volume, mass, enthalpy, internal energy, Gibbs free energy and entropy are extensive. As a static process, it occurs very slowly and shifts infinitesimally from the equilibrium. It is a hypothetical concept. Next is cyclic process. In cyclic process, change in internal energy will be 0. So, del Q will be equal to del W. In cyclic process, clockwise, then work done will be positive. When it is anti-clockwise, work done will be negative. Next is isothermal process. Isothermal means here temperature is constant. Also, internal energy is constant. So, dQ will be equal to dW. The corresponding gas law for isothermal process is Boyle's law, which is PV is equal to constant. And for this process, specific heat capacity will be infinite since specific heat capacity is Q by M del T. Here, del T is going to be 0, so it is infinite and work done in isothermal process will be 2.303 nrp log v2 by v1 here n indicates number of moles these are the various graphs for isothermal process as we seen pv is constant for isothermal process so it, it has inverse proportionality which gives a rectangle hyperbola here since temperature is constant for different values of V, temperature remains constant. And here, for different values of pressure, temperature is constant since it is an isothermal process. Adiabatic process, it is any sudden or quick process like bursting of tire, it is an adiabatic process. Here, change in heat is 0. So, the first law of thermodynamics will be du is equal to minus dw. The corresponding gas laws will be modified as PV gamma is equal to constant. Tv gamma minus 1 is equal to constant and T gamma by P gamma minus 1 is a constant. Here gamma is nothing but Cp by Cv. And in this process specific heat capacity will be 0 since we know S is Q by M delta T. Here Q is 0 so specific heat capacity is also 0. Now work done in adiabatic process N R into T1 minus T2 by gamma minus 1 or we can also write 
वन बै काम मैनस वन इंटू पी वन बी वन मैनस पी टू बी टू पी वी इज ईक्वल टू एन आर टी सो दी आर द ग्राफ फॉर अडियाबैटिक प्रोसेस ऑलसो एस वी कुड सी स्लोप ऑफ अडियाबैटिक इज ड्रामा टाइम्स ऑफ स्लोप ऑफ आइसोथर्म सो इफ यू कुड कंपेर दीज थ्री ग्राफ विथ दिस थ्री स्लोप ऑफ अडियाबैटिक इज गामा टाइम्स स्लोप ऑफ आइसोथर्मल नेक्स्ट इज आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज आइसोमेट्रिक हियर कोरिक और मेट्रिक इंडिकेट्स वॉल्यूम विच मीन्स वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट इन दिस प्रोसेस ऑल्सो हियर वर्क डन इज जीरो सिंस वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट यू नो डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू पी डी वी वर्क डन इज जीरो सिंस वॉल्यूम इज बींग कॉन्स्टेंट हियर ऑल्सो डी यू इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू द करस्पॉन्डिंग गैस लॉ फॉर आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस विल बी डी वन बाई टी वन इज इक्वल टू टी टू बाई टी टू इट इज नथिंग बट गे लू सक्स लॉ सो दीज आर द करस्पॉन्डिंग ग्राफ्स एस यू कुड सी फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ प्रेशर वॉल्यूम रिमेंस कॉन्स्टेंट सिंस इट इज एन आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस एंड सिमिलरली हियर फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन द एक्स एक्सेस वॉल्यूम रिमेंस कॉन्स्टेंट एंड हियर सिंस पी इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू टी it is a straight line with a positive slope the next process is isobaric process in this process pressure remains constant baric means pressure the corresponding gas law is v1 by t1 equal to v2 by t2 work done in this process is pressure into change in volume which can also be written as p into dv also एन आर इंटू टी टू माइनस टी वन सिंस वी नो पी वी इज ईक्वल टू एन आर टी हियर दीज आर द करस्पॉन्डिंग ग्राफ्स सिंस इट इज एन आइसोबारिक प्रोसेस सो प्रेशर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑन द एक्स एक्सेस एंड हियर वॉल्यूम इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू टी सो इट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड हियर प्रेशर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन एक्स एक्सेस next two most important formulas first is the fraction of heat energy supplied to a gas which is utilized to increase its internal energy it is given by 1 by gamma when the fraction of heat energy supplied is utilized for doing some external work then it is 1 minus 1 by gamma these two are very simple yet important formulas for exam point of view next free expansion process in this process change in internal energy change in heat work done change in temperature or equal to zero next we come to heat engine this is the pv graph for heat engine the portion a b indicates isothermal expansion and b c of the graph indicates adiabatic expansion the portion c to d of the graph indicates isothermal compression and d to a indicates adiabatic compression carnot engine it is a reversible and ideal engine so ideal means it is being very perfect or we can say being unreal so does not naturally occur Q1 by T1 is equal to Q2 by T2. Here T1 is temperature of the source, and T2 is temperature of the sink. Work done in this case is Q1 minus Q2. Can also be written as Q1 into 1 minus T2 by T1, or Q2 into T1 by T2 minus 1. Efficiency is given by W by Q1. W is work done, which is Q1 minus Q2 by Q1. So it can also be written as 1 minus T2 by T1. Efficiency of the heat engine can be increased by either increasing T1 or decreasing T2. the value of eta lies between 0 to 
Next is refrigerators. The working of refrigerators is reversed to that of heat engine. Here also Q1 by T1 is equal to Q2 by T2. N work done W is Q1 minus Q2. The coefficient of performance of refrigerator is denoted by beta which is Q2 by W. Also be written as Q2 by Q1 minus Q2 or T2 by T1 minus T2. The relation between beta and eta will be beta will be 1 minus eta by eta. Here beta is coefficient of performance of refrigerator while eta is efficiency of a heat engine. Coming to last part of the chapter heat pump. Coefficient of performance denoted by R is Q1 by W also be written as Q1 by Q1 minus Q2 or T1 by T1 minus T2. Similarly here the relation between R and eta will be R is 1 by eta and relation between R and beta will be R is 1 plus beta. With this we come to end of a chapter. I hope it was clear. Thank you for watching.